right. Yahuwah, Yahuwah, who's Hamashiach, baby? Here we go. I am thankful uh, for giving the opportunity to do even more research that supports my stance on the appropriation and tinatalism through courses of events. It had helped me to really do more research in this book. So here we go. First of all, uh, the creators understand that creating, they open up uh, potential myths, which is happening. And Christ was, of course, sent down to clean up the myths and to help people to realize their own power and to do better and be better people. But over the course of time, we have seen that individuals choose not to listen to the spirit. They choose to listen to more of their flesh. But the hopes were for people to be, to choose the spirit over flesh to, to their best abilities to do better. Um, that being said, the fall angels were sent down to help people to realize, of course, like I said before, to revert back to the more the innocent, purest state, and that the sins that they call themselves wanting and yearning for, for, will not fulfill them permanently. They will always they'll put themselves in perpetual cycles. So that's part of the list that need to be realized um, not just the sins but the material as well um, and to some degree you got to listen to the spirit like I have the spirit of truth um, will show you all will um, fulfill you in ways that no amount of money and wealth or nothing can, would do and sometimes you have to trust the Rok HaKadosh the spirit God, Yahusha, have faith that your needs will be met and that you stick to the assemblies or the the most high agenda with Operation Free the Spirits, what Yahusha stands for, for us to break out all these cycles. So I still stand on my theories and my beliefs and and I have scriptures that hold weight more to what I of my claims and what I'm saying. So here it goes. So Jubilees 37 3. I'm just gonna bring this first to and just go and put it out there. He said unto them, Because I sold my birthright to Yaakov for a small mess of lentils, and on a day my father sent me to hunt and catch and bring him something that he should eat and bless me he came with guile and brought my father food and drink and my father blessed him and put me under his hand so that was an example of deceit and the drama behind it the backlash but they did it of their own free will or, or choice so they're just one example of the 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 potential sin or the potential evil nature of a person and that how we should always strive to do better by each other and by oneself that we shouldn't take advantage of another person's disadvantage just because we can't you know what I'm saying so basically we should not be weaponizing poverty um, to take advantage of others Unfortunately, in this world, this realm, whatever this is, some people do that still. Um, whether there are principalities and higher powers, or mid-tier in the hierarchy scale, or low. The poor class. We should be all striving to be um, righteous, virtuous people. Compassionate people, loving people. If we're going to be in the flesh. Now, here's the meat and potatoes. <sighs> Jubilees 
John, 3 John 1, 4 through 8. Um, okay. Yep. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, do faithfully whatsoever you do to the brethren and to strangers, which have borne witness of your love before the call out assembly, who, if you bring forward on their journey that which is pleasing and worthy to Elohim, you should be you should do well. Because that for Yahuwah's namesake they went forth taking nothing of, of the other nations. We therefore ought to receive such that we might be fellow helpers to the truth. So I am a fellow helper of the truth. And I'm revealing it right here and there. In my songs, in my lyrics, in my advocacy for no procreation um, and anti-natalism. Let's, let's go on show. Revelation 2, 20-29. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against you because you suffered that woman, Isabel, which caused herself prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things, sacrifice unto items. And I have her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit fornication with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with them, and all the called out assemblies shall know that I am he which searches the minds and hearts and I will give unto every one of you according to your works but unto you I say and unto the rest in thy thyteria as many as have not this doctrine and which have not known the depths of Satan as they speak I will put upon you no other burden but that which he ye have already hold fast till I come and he that overcomes and guards my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with an iron, a rod of iron. As the vessels of pottery shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. And I will give him the morning star. He that as, he that has an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit, capital Spirit, wrote, say unto the called out assemblies. So yes, I have heard, I have, I say uh, uh, many have, many hear the call, but few are chosen or choose. I am choosing to, to operate um, in the Spirit of Christ, to be a unique for Christ in my stance, and I have done it in my works. It has influenced me. Though I say fragments of truth, and it said in the same revelation that it is shivers like potters of shivers which is like pretty much like fragments of potter should they be broken to shivers They're broken in pieces but the pieces come together like a puzzle and that's what I'm calling myself doing by using my words my influences uh, my experience when the spirit of uh, influenced me to write my lyrics as well as Utilizing scriptures for those who just need scriptures to prove my points and this is proving my point This is an added point As to why you should not be procreating uh -oh. And that is why because you don't want to potentially bring Spirits into a flesh to be tempted to operate more on the side of evil or wickedness that's one reason but you also want to protect him from the spirit from being in this realm being born now i don't have an issue with women this is not a hate on the sex or the gender of women this just saying that there are spirits or beings that have turned over time into more benevolent beings that allow themselves to be influenced by their nature of the flesh and they utilize it to commit what is called fornication 
um, they utilize their I guess they utilize their spirits or their, their being to pull them further away from listening to the spirit to reverting back more to their innocence more to that um, original state which is of pureness which is of goodness which don't really desire to um, take advantage of others in a case desire of the flesh or to procreate like I said at the beginning in my other videos about Adam and Eve being innocent um, they didn't desire to procreate they desire X they didn't desire um, they were innocent and God understood that that action of what he did I, I mean I, I don't understand fully why he would want to create um, out of the consent of any other being he just did it take him out of form this being form this beings to mold it into a parameters of his of a world that he created or them but the point of it is is that we can't it's, it's not about that but what it is what we can do now it's about um, achieving permanent salvations now we can't just go on and keep going back to the past and like why 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 and try to put, put blame on the creators or creator or uh, God Elohim or uh, Yahuwah Elohim Nahuwah is about making up for that um, and choosing to give access to permanent salvation to all um, so we can be better people and we can all be saved and re revert back to the original state be cleansed of those transgressions and sins and to stay in the permanent salvation with the most high forevermore with Christ and Yahushua Hamashiach because that's why he came down to do he's it's called Messiah on purpose because it's cleaning up the mix that's that's what's going on the Christian creation brought the mess he created it over time God called itself cleaning it up but because of I guess the love of of his creations he didn't he couldn't go through with it he wanted people to have second chances and chances although he does uh, over time gave orders for groups of individuals to war with each other to cleanse and pillage others and whatever you know they like to try to use their propaganda to make them out to be just downright just evil but in a, in a sense you there is an even act even evil act because you created the evil but it is a, still a method of depopulation but this time around what God is trying to do through Yeshua, do more of a compassionate look inside of things, is for people just to choose not to procreate, to choose not to uh, repopulate after there's events that depopulate um, this creation that the God had made, these creators have made. That's why there needs to be a decline of movements that encourages procreation um, that that emphasizes that desire of the flesh and we need to push more of um, content music and things that inspire people to operate with more of the spirit and that's what my content and my works do they, they encourage others to try to fly away from flesh to be more spirit over flesh while still acknowledging and understanding God um, and how he operates that's why I did that song because y'all we know because it's it's yes y'all we know that you did create a divinity but we know that we, it's time and I suspect that the reason why we're at a place a space a headspace of we're like more or less tired or like misery we want permanent salvation is 
by God's design because he's 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 he understands this and wants to relieve us from this pain wants to relieve us from our trials and tribulations he understands that we're not we're not winning or wanting to be test subjects anymore so he's trying to offer it that's because he's doing this what that's what he was trying to do with Christ uh, but he understood that over time people would not will understand slowly but not at that particular time that's why Christ had to plant the seeds and let it grow and germinate throughout the world so we can until we're ready to really evolve um, to that Christ consciousness to understand the point is not to continue to continually reenacting the sentence of being fruitful and multiplied but to move past it uh, flesh and to achieve permanent salvation for us all over time. This is the time now. It's been over 2,000 years. Uh, things are are orchestrated in a way to where we need to realize this and move past that. Move past that Genesis role of males do this, females do that. And understand that we need to revert more back to our original state not a natural state our original state and that is spirit limitless and boundless formless before the evil before the sin before the social and moral constructs before even was even being perceived as good um, that's where that's the pureness um, so that's what God is trying to bring us back towards so it is advantageous for all of us not to reenact the original sin creation, which is procreation. So now you understand more why I am antinatalism, using the scriptures um, to back me up, to validate what I'm saying to be true. It is literally just to protect everyone from each other literally that's what Christ was standing for and you know I, the one chronicles um, I have to look in my other book but it's a it's a passage in the chronicles that explains by Christ they say that Christ he preferred us to be like more like him he also led by example and that is to not procreate uh, to be abstinent to be celibate abstinent to testify uh, in his name and to heal with Christ with the Christ consciousness with the Christ spirit with the Holy Spirit uh, like as Christ did he even said that we will do even greater works than him uh, but it's not saying that we're trying to replace or be better than him it's just he inspired he should inspire you inspire you to help others to be a better person that's that's what his pur purpose was his purpose was to really to help us to know that we have the power to overcome um ourselves our um, lower nature um to overcome our adversary to overcome um our trials and our tribulations but that is why also yahuwah yahusha messiah God, the creators, um, push forth with this movement, so we can all be finally be free from all trials and tribulations. So we we don't all we don't have to go through this anymore. So, like I said before, it's up to the collective to choose permanent salvations over sinful salvations, because the permanent salvation is what's going to fulfill us forevermore. We just got to notice. And we got to seek to stop procreation. Stop um, allowing this, those types of spirits or influences to corrupt our spirit or to influence our spirit to reenact that. And to be better people and to not allow greed to consume our hearts each other to not allow evil to consume our hearts to operate more in the spirit 
to operate more in the Rok Hakodesh.